the rank of the matrix which is equal to the like, rank of any given matrix which is equal to the number of non zero number of non zero rows number of non zero rows of okay, of the matrix okay Of matrix which is equal to the number of non zero rows of that matrix means the number of rows, non zero rows of a matrix of a matrix. This is the definition. Now uh, we will convert this given matrix into the equation of a matrix. Okay. Uh, now we will start the solving this problem. Okay. For that, firstly, as per definition of eclan form of a matrix, we have to uh, convert these uh, non non zero row element of each non zero row. So we have to convert these elements into one. Okay. For that, we will see the one row operation. First, we will convert first row R1 tends to R1. If we divide with this three by three only, then it will get one. That's why I am dividing this complete R1 row by 1. Okay. R1 tends to R1 divided by 3. If you see here, here, means that first row is R1 divided by 3. 3 by 3 is 1 and 1 by 3 here and here 4 by 3. Okay. Next one, we will keep it as it is 0, 5, VH, minus 3, 4, 4. We are not changing any uh, row to end to the operation. We are changing the only row. That's why I have written row to end row three as it is. Okay, this is the first operation we have done. So, if you see here, uh, for the first we will try to, uh, here uh, we have already 0 element. If we can't uh, convert this as zero element with a leap of or R3 or R2, because if we want to change any row operations with this, here the number will change. That's why we won't uh, we can't, uh, now we won't disturb any row two operation. Now we will convert row three operations. Here, see here, with the help of row one operation, R3 tends to, we have to uh, convert into this as zero elements because here already one zero is two so we have to convert this into zero row so we have to convert below here this and this one as zero okay and we see here r3 is converted into r3 tends to r3 if we want to zero here what we have to do here already minus three is there so if we add plus three then this uh, element uh, comes as minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So that's why we are converting using R1 operation. We are telling that R3 tends to R3 plus 3 times of R1. So actually, if you see here, we are already dividing the uh, 3 and here we are uh, adding plus 3 R1. So what I am thinking directly, we will do this one more thing. One more thing. Uh, okay, uh, straight away, first we will uh, convert these two element as 0 by using R1, uh, row 1, okay, R3 tends to R3 plus R1, okay, R3 plus R1. So if we get A matrix as there is no change in row one and row two. So I am writing as it is three, one, four, zero, five, eight. Here R3 plus R1. So minus three plus three. You get zero and here four plus uh, sorry, four plus one, five, and here four plus four. We get eight. So after uh, converting row 3 uh, operation into R3 plus R1, we, we got this matrix of 3 by 3 matrix. This is the good practice of writing the size of the matrix. Okay. And if you see here, here these two rows are same. 
So with the help of R2, we can convert R3 as 0. So if I am writing here on a row operation, R3 tends to we will convert R3 minus R2. Okay. If we apply this operation, we will see here what will be given. I am writing here directly. There is no change in row 1 and row 2 operation. We are only converting mm -hmm. row 3 operation. And one more thing. Uh, we, first of all, we have to, here. First of all, we have to convert this element into one. For that, I am telling you, R one tends to R one divided by three. Similarly, and R three row three is tends to R three minus R two. Then only we get five minus five zero and eight minus eight zero. That's why R three we are converting it. R3 minus R2. These two row operations we are uh, using here. So first I will write here. Uh, one thing is R1. So R1 is R1 divided by 3. So what we will get? 3 by 3 by 3. 1. And here 1 divided by 3. 1 by 3. Here we will get 4 divided by 3. Because this is the R1. This R1 divided by 3. So 3 by 3 is 1. We got 1 by 3 and 4 divided by 3 is 4 by 3. Okay. Next, there is no change in row to operation. That's why I am writing as 0, 5 and yet. We can add a direct one more operation. We want to convert this element also directly 1. So we will write here R2 tends to R2 divided by Five. If we want to get 1 here, we have to divide 5 divided by 5, then only we will get 1. So I am writing here directly R2 tends to R2 by 5 by 5 is 1 here 8 by 5. And R3 tends to R3 minus R2. Here R3 minus R2. So 0 minus 0, 0. And here 5 minus 5, 0. And 8 minus 8, 0. This is the final matrix we got. Because we can't uh, convert this row using R1. Because if we convert this element into 0, then the, here this element uh, will disturb. So that's why we won't get 0 in starting. That's why we can't do any more row operations. This is the final matrix after row operations. From here, we can find that what is the rank of the matrix as we understood that rank of your given matrix which is equal to the number of non-zero rows. Non-zero rows. Uh -huh. So if you see here, here how many non-zero rows are there? Here three rows are there complete. In that one row is zero row. So non-zero rows are two. So the rank of given A matrix which is equal to the two. In this way, we can find the rank of the matrix. Okay. Now, I will explain you the uh, what is the usage of this uh, matrix or a clone form or rank of the matrix. Okay. Here, uh, with the help of these matrices, uh, the, with these matrices which are helping real life problems as well as uh, some uh, engineering field like uh, mechanical, civil, uh, computer science, in any field, these matrices are useful for finding the problems. These matrices are helps in uh, solving the system of uh, linear equations. Why we have to find the system of linear equations? You have you will get the term definitely. So this system of linear equations, which will help in while solving uh, solving any structural type of problems. If you see in if you take any civil engineering topic. Like, uh, uh, whenever you go to the railway station, you just to see the structure of that. There are so many trusses and the structure of that. In that, they will find the how much uh, load it will take. These type of calculations will be done through the uh, system of linear equations only. That system of linear equations needs to be solved uh, with the help of matrix. It will be like it converts the complete uh, complex system into very simple system with this also we can find the how many solutions 
number of solutions we can find uh, whether uh, this uh, system of equations which having a uh, uh, constant uh, numbers or it having infinitely many solutions we can find through with the help of matrices okay and also if you see in design field uh, uh, if you see any uh, uh, any software there are coordinates x y z coordinates for that also for uh, defining this coordinate of the mat coordinates we will use this matrix itself and i will give one more example like in robotics if you see the robotics the movement of robotics also which is defined by using this matrices only so there are so many so many applications of matrices are the they so if we learn these matrices it will be really helpful for finding this and these are the applications of uh, matrices and where we can use and if you want more example you can go through the uh, uh, internet so that you will get so many lot of lot of examples and also in this way you can find the uh, rank of the matrix using a column form of a matrix and i hope uh, this class uh, like with this class you got uh, some knowledge um, if you feel this class is useful to you and mm -hmm. if you feel that this some so at least you will get some knowledge please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt, uh, mm -hmm. doubts please comment below i definitely respond and this is my first uh, face to face interaction video so if you find any difficulty like uh, voice or uh, the text size of this one or anything just a comment below so that i will go through that and i will rectify in coming video